Hello everybody, uh, this is Joel from Sinoid. Um, just uh, going to do a tutorial on um, on the ADSR envelope and what that's all about. Um, it's a really basic tutorial, I just feel like doing a tutorial on uh, how to do, um, on what this is exactly on envelopes, uh, amplitude envelopes and modulation envelopes. I feel like um, maybe some of you guys out there are really trying to get into uh, how to use Massive and how to really, I guess, understand what these envelopes do. Um, in this case, I'm going to start off with the amplitude envelope. Um, basically, all you need to know about uh, an amplitude envelope and or modulation envelope is the attack, decay, sustain, or level in this case, and the release. Um, attack just denotes on how quickly your sound is going to activate and reach its highest peak. So this is a sound that has a fast attack. Um, so as you can see, this attack is fast because it's going to activate immediately. And usually this is uh, the cause for some of initial uh, click sounds. Uh, in, in a certain sound, uh, if you if you have a, a tag that's way too fast, uh, it could reproduce a click sound from the very beginning. Um, usually, uh, this these sounds are for stabs or for plucks. Uh, this is a pluck. That's how you create that pluck sound. Uh, if you move your decay to be faster in decaying gonna get like that tech house or that really really sharp plucky sound and then as you increase the decay it'll be longer and then it'll take longer for it to uh, die that's why hence the name decay it's gonna die over over time so if I were to hold this note it'll just fade away um, even though I'm holding it however if you were to bring up your sustain or your, or in this case, level, uh, no matter how long I hold the note, it's, I mean, as long as I hold the note down, the sound will be reproducing uh, at that same exact level. If you, if you bring down the level, it'll, it'll, as long as I hold the note, I sustain the note, uh, it'll, it'll come down over time. Uh, depending on the decay so in this case it'll be long but as you can see if I were to decrease the decay but still uh, have the sustain at this point it'll have a high uh, attack I mean uh, the level here is high so it'll the sound will come up to here but then eventually just die down and be uh, sustained at that level and then, of course, the release um, determines how how long the sound will take to die after the note has been played. So, in this case, the, you will play your note, let it go, and then after you've let go of the note, the sound will still continue to be reproduced, but eventually just die over uh, the time that you dictate with the release knob. So in this case, uh, let's just uh, let's create a pluck. Uh, let's create a pluck. And you saw how it took a while for it to die. I, I didn't hold the note all the way down. Even if I were to, the release would affect the amount of time it would take for that sound to die over time. Now, if I would just to just uh, hit the note and then release it very quickly it still took a while for it to die so um, this is just basically for uh, amplitude envelopes the same holds true for uh, modulation envelopes it's it's still it's still it's the same in, in theory 
However, it, it's difficult, I guess, to uh, see it uh, in terms of modulating a knob because it's it's a bit different. At least with an amplitude envelope, you can kind of tell. You see how it has soul attack? Sorry. Um, yeah, you can kind of tell um, because it's a it's a sound. It's a it's a, the volume of the sound essentially. So yeah, this is just a tutorial on a uh, simple theory behind uh, uh, amplitude envelopes. Um, it's kind of, it, it would, I guess it's kind of a, uh, ba very basic. Um, in this case, the morphing, um, this is kind of a nifty feature that Massive has. Um, it's a, uh, I mean, it's very particular to Massive. I've never really seen this on any other kind of synth. But it does give you room to create some really weird sort of uh, volume automations built into the envelope. Um, personally, myself, I really don't like to use them. Um, I don't know. I'm more of a performer kind of guy. It's a bit simpler in a sense. Uh, I mean, it does give you some sort of free... Uh, really crazy wacky sort of modulations but um I, I like to stick to LFOs and performers I, I guess in a in a in a near future I'll, I'll mess with this uh, it should give you some pretty crazy sounds uh, but for the most part um, I'm really not I, I don't really use this that much play around with it uh, but all you really need to know for the time being, if you if you um, if you're just starting out and learning, um, you're a beginner in, in all of this. Um, your best friends would be attack, decay, sustain, or level, and then release. So uh, yeah, this concludes I guess amplitude om envelope modulation. And uh, thank you for watching, and please remember to subscribe uh, on our Instagram. Uh, SoundCloud, YouTube, and uh, uh, I'll take any requests. Just uh, make sure you reach out to us and uh, post it in our Instagram. Or, yeah, that's where we usually check most of our uh, our comments and stuff. Or email. Email. Email's good, too. So, thanks again, and hope you enjoyed.